You know, I, I'm a Christian uh, by choice. Um, you know, my, my family didn't, uh, you know, frankly, they weren't uh, folks who went to church every, every week. Um, I mean, my mother was one of the most spiritual people I knew, but she didn't uh, raise me in the church. Uh, so I came to, to uh, my Christian faith later in life, uh, and it was because uh, the, the, the precepts of Jesus Christ spoke to me in terms of the kind of life that I would want to lead, um, being my brother's and sister's keeper, uh, treating others as they would treat me. Um, and I think also understanding that um, you know, that Jesus Christ dying for my sins uh, spoke to uh, the humility we all have to have as human beings, that we're sinful and we're flawed and we make mistakes, uh, and that, uh, you know, we, we achieve salvation through uh, the, the grace of, of God. But what we can do uh, as, as flawed as we are, is still see God in other people and do our best to, um, to, to help them uh, find their, uh, you know, their own grace. And, and so that's, uh, that's what I strive to do. That's what I pray to do every day. Uh, I think my public service I, uh, is part of that effort to uh, express my Christian faith. Um, and it, it's, uh, but, but the one thing I want to emphasize, having, you know, spoken about something that obviously uh, relates to me very personally, um, as President of the United States, I'm also somebody who deeply believes that the bed, part of the bedrock strength of this country is that uh, it embraces people of many faiths and of no faith. That, that uh, this is a country that uh, is still predominantly Christian, but we have Jews, Muslims, Hindus, atheists, agnostics, Buddhists, and that their uh, own path to grace uh, is, uh, is one that we have to revere and respect uh, as much as our own. Uh, and, and that's part of what makes this country uh, what it is.